I've got something free that you might be interested in. That and more is coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and today's Thursday, which means we're going to do our information roundup like we do every Thursday here on Guy in a Cube. And today we've got a few items ranging from SQL to Power BI. So let's take a look. First up on the list is a blog post by Reza Rad where he talks about how you can create relationships on tables that have multiple columns, even though there's a limitation that you can only have a relationship on a single column. This involves combining columns to make sure that it gets the value that's unique that you can join on. So go check out this blog post if you've been struggling with it so that you can figure out the best way to go do that. Next up on the list is a blog post by Chris Webb where he looks at how you can actually time the execution of your M queries with inside a Power Query or Power BI. If this is something that you've been curious about in terms of how long certain queries are taking, be sure to check out this blog post for a way that you can go about doing that. Next up on the list is a blog post from Amanda on the Power BI team where she looks at part two of the March update for the service. This included items for dashboards, such as the featured dashboard. It included enterprise items, such as the admin usage reports. It included some Q&A items, the Analyze in Excel, as well as announcing Power BI in Australia. So if you wanna go take a look at this blog post and see what all the updates were, be sure to check it out. She's got some great information in there. Next on the list was a big update out of the Data Insights Summit, and this is the ability to embed Power BI into your applications. This is done through Azure and through the Azure portal, you can configure this. But if you're a custom application developer and you want to incorporate interactive reports into your application, you can now do that. There's also a great video that kind of highlights and introduces what this is all about, so be sure to check it out. You get SQL Server, you get SQL Server, everybody gets SQL Server. That's right, SQL Server Developer Edition is now free for everybody. This is included with SQL 2014 and also will be the case when SQL 16 releases. So if you want SQL Server Developer Edition, it is now free. You can download it, you can install it, you can use it and start working on your applications to get them up and running. All right, which item that I talked about was the most exciting for you? I've got a poll up here to let me know what you thought. Also, you can leave those down in the comments below and see what other people had to say about it. And be sure to like and share this if it was helpful to you. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Thursday I do an information roundup just like this where I look at the last week, find things that were interesting to me and share that out with you. And every Tuesday I take a look at a technical item where I either look at how something works, a new feature, or how to troubleshoot something. And really, this is about you. I want to help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.